Yeehaw, everybody, and welcome in to the new series here on the Swilla Sports Network as we have got the Minnesota Golden Gophers Dynasty here on MVP 07 NCAA Baseball. That's right, folks, we're about to be playing some college baseball, and we're going to be playing with those Minnesota Gophers currently sitting at 104th nationally, third in the conference standings of the Big Ten, but not sure if that's just broken down alphabetically or what, but uh, I would imagine we'd be lower than third if it was truly alphabetical. However, Big Ten, not known as a super strong baseball conference, always a chance to compete, but uh, especially with this Gophers team, as we'll take a look at the roster, a good young roster with these Gophers, and in fact, uh, our starting nine, not one senior, We've got sophomore, junior, freshman, sophomore, sophomore, junior, freshman, sophomore, sophomore. So yeah, once these freshmen and sophomore are juniors and seniors, I have a feeling we will be contesting for the Big Ten title year in and year out. And you never know with the Big Ten and Big Ten tournament, of course, we always might have a chance. So yeah, nothing but a few seniors on the bench at the moment and that's actually getting to the pitches our bench very thin three catchers who only can catch on the bench as well as our starting catcher who they say only can catch and then we have one in backup infielder and in shreddy who's a senior and parsons our backup outfielder a six foot junior now looking at the uh, pitching staff and some bright spots here is Brandon Lewis is our ace. He's a freshman, throws from the left-hand side, I believe 84 overall. Then we have Chip Hyatt, the senior right-hander, and a junior right-hander in Clint Matthews. So Chip Hyatt, Matthews probably better than Hyatt, but we're going to give Hyatt the senior a nod as the two-starter. Give him a chance to get out there a little bit more. Amara, junior, one of the better bullpen arms. Kinney, so-so, but a freshman. Milleron, pretty... Average from the left-hand side, but a freshman. Becker, decent from the left-hand side, a freshman. Kit McAngus, average sophomore. Pickering, average as a freshman. Davies, of course, our closer, decent, but also a freshman. And then Austin Owen, probably the best pitcher coming out of our bullpen. Better pitch stats than our closer, but so Austin Owen might be used quite a bit in high leverage situations. He is only a sophomore, so as you can see, a ton of uh, future promise for this Gophers uh, team. Never looked at the team goal. Okay, level one. Pitcher with eight wins in a season. We're hoping Lewis can do that. That's kind of more career stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to go over the team quick. And then quickly get into uh, our opening day, which as you can see, we're taking on Miami here in February. Then we have Fordham. Then Utah, a couple teams kind of down where we are. But Clemson, number three nationally. Vanderbilt, number 12 nationally. Always a very good team. And then finish out the month with Western Kentucky. So a bit of a mixed bag. Kind of a three series against elite programs. Three series against not so elite programs. Let's see here. We are going to be playing on... Senior difficulty. I'm playing the classic throwing and hitting style. I used to use the hit stick, but uh, it's been a long time since I played this game. Probably about 15 years. I've been messing around a little bit here and there, but man, I cannot get the hit stick hitting to go right now. I think I played a little bit too much of MLB The Show over the years. So it's going to be Lewis versus Martinez. Opening day, Martinez, the 90 overall sophomore, 6'2, 190 from Miami. We are going to be the home team. We're going to keep. Yeah, our lineup as the default, Rhodes. Good uh, DH against the righties. And we have the lefty, Lewis, on the hill. And yeah, let's get into it. Miami an A+, Minnesota a C. And yeah, let's play at Inner Harbor Field. Sure, why not? As both teams, uh, we'll pretend both teams are uh, in California or something. The early season games. So yeah, Lewis... He's going to be our big promise. Lewis versus Martinez. A-plus versus C. Miami shooting for probably the College World Series this season. Your Gophers shooting for, I don't know, I'd say above 500 ball. Maybe make some noise in the Big Ten tournament. And uh, somehow, some way, get a, if we win that tournament, get into the NCAA tournament. We'd love to be a part of the field of 64. And yeah, Brandon Lewis towing the rubber. We're playing 1080p here on the PC, 60 frames per second. Not sure why. Oh, dear. Oh, good. He takes that pitch low. It's a 
first pitch of the series. Not good. I tapped X, and uh, that is not the way to do it here. But yeah, um, not sure. Because I bumped up the 1080p, there's probably some things I can do with shaders. Strike one in there. But every player has kind of this rat tail behind their head. It's probably something I can do to get rid of that, but uh, I don't know. I'll look into that later. So one and one here to the leadoff hitter for Miami. So Lewis delivers the slider one and two. Lewis definitely going to carry the load here for this Gophers uh, starting staff. One, two, high and tight. Check swing, but he went around. And the first out of the series is a strikeout for Brandon Lewis. Hopefully the first of many in his career here with the Gophers. Lewis inside. Swing and a miss. Go fastball outside. Again, he's going to lay one down. Schust will touch that foul, and it'll be 0-2. We'll go slider down and in, see if he'll swing over top. And he does. And two quick strikeouts for Brandon Lewis, showing off what the freshman can do. And looking like a good pickup for the Gophers. He's going to get the three-hitter to pop it up to center. Frederick's there. And a quick 1-2-3 inning for Lewis and the Gophers in the first. Gonna be Frederick leading off the center fielder against Martinez. We'll watch the high curveball. One zero change up, swing and a miss. I thought that one was gonna stay in the zone. Just died out for the swing and miss. Tried to check there, did not go. Two and one. Got him with that low changeup once again, two and two. Martinez, I'm sure, a couple good pitches in his arsenal. And reaching for the outside splitty, I believe. That'll roll over to second base. On to first for the first out. Jake Anderson, first baseman now. Coming up for the Gophers, watches the fastball right down the middle, 0-1. Inside, one and one. Outside, two and one now to the first baseman, Anderson. Oh, just behind the curveball there. Let's see here. Checked, but in the zone at the knees. And that'll be strike three. Two down now for the Gophers here in the first. That one looped into left field. will fall in front of the left fielder. And we've got our first hit of the series. And I believe that was Matt Christensen. And it was at first base now. Shoots the third baseman. He's going to follow that up with a line drive into left of his own. That'll hold Christensen at second. But Gophers have two on and two out. And Jeffrey Cabral, the left fielder, coming to the plate. Gets the curve ball just behind it, drives it back up the middle to center field. Center field doesn't have to move very far. And that'll be the third out. Gophers get two hits, strand them both. And we remain scoreless as we head to the top of the second. And Torero coming up for the Hurricanes. First pitch, grounded down to first. Anderson steps on one. And that'll be the first out. Lewis outside, 0-1 to McGurk. Put that slider inside and low once again. That one grounded down to Shoes to third, over to first, and two away. Come on, Kim. It's dangerous against lefties. Pitch him away. He'll go after first pitch. And Christensen there in a very quick 1-2-3 inning for Brandon Lewis in the second. Tony Rhodes now stepping up, DHing in today's ballgame. Tried to hold up on the fastball, but went around 0-1. Holds up there. Inside and evens the count. Oh, 
one one to Rhodes taps it foul the one two ground down to third base flipped over to first and one away now Ben Capello the second baseman his first a B of the year inside one and0 oh. Change misses out, and Capello's ahead. Two balls and no strikes. The 2-0, high change up. Tried to go the other way, but hit just on the outside of the first base. A uh, high fastball, swing and a miss to even the count. 2-2. Two 2-2 and two. Two -two now from Martinez. Two-seam fastball, good action, and gets the swing and the miss. Now Jimmy Stadolka, starting catcher. Stepping up for the Gophers. He'll watch that two-seam fastball high. And 1-0. And oh. Two oh now. Make Martinez work a little bit. Lewis cruising through his first two innings. Swing and a miss on the high fastball. 2-0. and oh, As Sudoku reaching a little bit ahead in the count. Two and two. Another swing and a miss on the high fastball. Just not getting there in time. I like those up. Got to be able to get there in time. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. I should have just laid off. I knew he was going to throw me that low outside changeup. Should have just watched it low. Good pitch sequence. From Martinez gets the strikeout and gets out of the second inning. Lewis, that one. Line to wait at short. He'll glove it. And one away. Ball low. Young watches. 1 0. Oh. Lewis inside. That one lined into left. Cabral not able to get there as it falls just in front of him. And Miami on with their first hit of the ball game. We Steve Delaney now. Goes with the curveball. Capello juggling it. Steps on first. Over, excuse me, steps on second. Over to first. Gets there in time. I didn't think he was going to get on second. Certainly didn't think this was going to be in time. Umpire says it is. And we'll take it. Lewis. Circuitous, but gets another 1-2-3 inning there in the third. And the freshman looking very sharp here in the early going. Now Bobby Wade, nine hitter. For Minnesota, starting shortstop. I'll take the outside curve ball to get ahead 1-0. Oh. Oh, splitter outside, swing and a miss, just behind it. That one tapped down to second base, flipped over to first, one down. I'm back up to the top of the order for the Gophers and Jeff Frederick. Frederick holds up, takes the strike on the inside two-seamer. That one outside. Frederick tries to go with it. Deep in the hole. Frederick's got wheels. He'll get there, and I believe they'll call that an infield single. And yes, that is the third hit now for the Gophers. Anderson takes the inside off speed. 1-0. Accidentally sent the runner. He gets thrown out at second. Ah, I thought he was going to be able to slide in there. Ah, didn't mean to send Frederick. Accidentally pressed the wrong button when leading off. Well, that's not good. But not a terrible uh, decision to steal there. Just like to be safe. Chasing after the high splitter once again. Evens the count. Two and two. Two, uh, two, two, two outs. Anderson up at the plate. Martinez delivers. Anderson lines it to right. But right at the first baseman. And that'll do it for the Gophers in the third. Camacho, Stanley, and Hyatt do up for the Hurricanes. One outside. Line 
into left. And one away. Kevin Stanley digs in, watches the curveball low. You know, 1 0 from Lewis. Fastball inside, down to Wade. He's going to have to get rid of it. Does. Long throw. Anderson stretches, and the play is made. DJ Hyatt will start him inside once again. They do. Fights it off well, but Frederick Long Run makes the play. And another quick 1 2 3 inning for Brandon Lewis. Christensen lined one into left his first time up. Watch the outside change, but that's in for a strike, 0-1. Ah, oh, just out in front of the hanging curveball, line down to third, one away. Oh, splitter off the plate, called a strike, Shoes behind, 0-1. Schuess gets a hold of that one, turns on the hanging curveball, goodbye. And it's the first run, first home run of the series, not surprised. It comes from our four hitter, the big third baseman, Schuest. Is that curveball elevated a little bit? Schuest deposited into the bay in the left field, 356 feet. Second hit of the day. A big spark for the Gophers as they try and pull the upset here opening day against Miami. The way Brandon Lewis has been pitching, that might be all the insurance he is going to need. Obviously, would like to put a few more on the board. It's Cabral now up. He checks. Get ahead 2-0. Cabral behind the four-seam fastball. 2-1. That one ground down to third, over to first, and two away. DH Tony Rhodes will step on, step up. 0 for 1 today. Oof, early on the curveball. I wanted to drive another one over the fence. The 0 1, that's grounded down to second base, and that'll do it for the Gophers in the uh, fourth inning, I believe. So we head to the top of the fifth. Gophers take the lead on the home run from Schust. 1-0. Oh, Alan Torero, big right fielder, stepping up. Start him off with curveball outside. Look, get me over action. He goes after it, taps it foul. Get ahead 0-1. Lewis, it's another foul ball. I think here we'll go high inside fastball. Let's see if we can just get him to chase. Get him to go after it. Don't get it high and out of the strike zone enough, but out number one. Wait, sometimes those ones hit right at your fielders make me a little bit nervous. You're not sure if they're actually standing right there, able to make the play. The 1 0 on the outside fastball. Lewis is going to come back inside slider. He does, and that one dropped just in front of Frederick in center. The Hurricanes will have a base runner on with one down. Lewis has faced the minimum. That was his second hit surrender, but uh, earlier in the ball game, surrender hit got a double play to end the game. And if you get a double play here, he will continue to face the minimum. Go outside fastball once again. That one down to Anderson at first. He'll go to second. Wade can't get the uh, relay throw off, but uh, they get the go-ahead runner. And now two down with Sapicki coming up. Lewis go. Lefty, lefty curveball gets him to swing through it and get ahead 0 1. Gotta pay attention to that runner at first base. And we get him! I saw him take an extra step. Nice pickoff move from Lewis. Anderson slaps the tag down. And Lewis continuing to face the minimum even though he surrendered two hits. Doing what he needs to to eliminate those base runners. Well, ben Capello, second baseman, steps up. Change up outside. 
1-0 from Martinez. Wearing the same jersey number as a famous Major League Martinez, Pedro. 1-1. One, one. Oh, just swung through the high splitter as Capello. A little too antsy. And the 1-2 and two from Martinez. He'll go with splitter again. Tap back up the middle. Shortstop ranging to his left. Over to first. And one away. Jimmy Stadolko for one strikeout. Takes the two-seamer. That's in for a strike. Sadolka grounds the curveball down to second and two down. That'll bring up Billy Wade, number nine hitter, shortstop. 0 for 1 on the ball game. Takes the fastball in for a strike. 0 1, grounded down to third. It's going to be a long play, but it is made. And that'll do it for the Gophers in the fifth. One, two, three inning. Martinez, good bounce back after surrendering the run in the fourth. It'll be Sapicki, Young, and Delaney for the Hurricanes as we go into the bottom of the fifth. I mean, top six, I believe. Yes, top of six. Your Gophers are the home team. Miami on the road. That one way outside. It's Brandon Lewis. He's going to have to continue to stay as sharp as he's been. The Gophers are going to want to win this one. Left it a little bit high, but way to field the position. Lewis snags the comebacker. One down. Curveball gets him over 0-1. A little fastball outside half. See him get Young to roll it over. That went a little higher than I wanted it, and he flips it into right. Christensen there, good angle to cut it off and keep him at first. Steve Delaney. Slider down to second. Capello's just going to go to first. Get the lead runner. Or excuse me, get the uh, trailing runner. It'll be two outs runner at two. It's a big spot here for the freshman, Brandon Lewis. See if he can get out of it here in the sixth. I'm sure stamina is no problem right now as he's been cruising. Go slider outside. That one flipped into left. Cabral will get there. We'll see if we send the runner. They do. Cabral's throw coming in. Not the best arm, but way in front of the runner. Stodolka puts on the tag. And the Gophers keep the 1-0 lead. Lewis gets out of the inning. And a top of the order due up for the Gophers. As they come to the plate here in the sixth. Frederick. Looking to get something going, and he will. Flips it into left. And... Not past the left fielder. And Frederick will have to hold it first. He was caught stealing his last time on. And uh, hopefully this time I don't mistakenly send him to second base. We do have the lead. I think I'm going to have him just stand pat. Anderson coming up. That one's low in the dirt. Doesn't get past the catcher. Frederick stays put. This one down. And that'll get Frederick to third. Taken the other way into right center by Jake Anderson. Nice piece of hitting. First and third, nobody out. Matt Christensen at the plate. Martinez still in there. Gophers looking to build on their lead. Christensen just behind the high changeup. My eyes got big. Looking for that three-run home run, that knockout punch. And now going after the high two-seam fastball. Martinez up in the zone a lot. I think trying to get... Players the fish, but sometimes it's a little too easy to hit. So one, two, nobody out. Oh, popped up, foul territory. Get out of play. Get out of play. And eventually does sail out of play. Christensen needs a productive at bat here. Two, two. Just put a ball in play. Let's avoid a double play, a strikeout. Find some outfield. The splitter, slow, goes after it. Swing and a missed. That'll bring up John Schust. He's kind of been the best hitter for the Gophers today. He got the big home run to give him the 1-0 lead. He watches the four-seamer outside, 1-0. All right, Schust. Oh, 
Martinez. I was wondering if Martinez is going to come after him. I think he might be pitching around him. 1-1. One, one. Try not to chase here. That one by Shoes. Line drive down to third. Great play made by the third baseman. And that could be an inning saving play. Cabral. Low change up. Hits the knees. And it's called strike number one. All right, Cabral. Good two-seam fastball, high outside. Gets the call, 0-2 now to Cabral. Two down, two on, watches the curveball inside. And now 1-2 and two to the Gophers left fielder. 1-2, tried to check it, fouls it off, and it'll stay alive. Curveball outside, evens the count at two apiece. Cabral got a piece of it. If it stays fair, it could do some damage, but drifts just foul. That one tapped down to the second baseman, flips over to first, and the Gophers cannot add anything to their lead. Martinez gets out of the jam, and it stays a 1-0 ball game with the Hurricanes coming up here in the top of the seventh. We'll see if Brandon Lewis... Might need him to go the whole game if he can. Still got some good stuff. Painting the outside corner. The 0-1 now. You go back inside with that slider. Hopefully not too predictable. That's going to be a tough play by Schust. An excellent bunt. A good way to start the rally for the Canes here in the top of the seventh. Now another bunt. Lewis. Pitch in. That's fouled off. All right, let's see if he squares around again. We'll go high and tight with the fastball. He does square around. This is going to be tough to get down. Apparently pulled it away. Takes the ball. One and one. Pick off to first. Back in time. Lewis tries to go to second. Foolish play. And everybody's safe. As the freshman making a freshman mistake. Should have just. Oh, should have just gone to first, taken the out, and hopefully maybe got a strikeout, something, get out of the inning. Get a couple members of the bullpen going, see if they bunt again, which they do. That one tapped foul. The 0 1 now. Don't square. That one hits sharply to first. Anderson gets the lead runner at first. Back to first. Excuse me, at second. Back to first. Get a double play. Can't speak. Can't believe that they get these outs, and they do. Huge double play. Run, tie runner at third base. But the two outs. Let's see if Lewis can get out of this one. Unscathed once again. That one hit to right. Christensen should be there. He is. Gloves it. And the Gophers avoid a scare in the seventh. We'll stand and stretch. Rhodes, Capello, and Stadolka coming to the plate. Gophers lead at 1-0. to Now Tony Rhodes, 0 for 2 today. Put some good swings on it. Martinez still in there for Miami. Change up, low. Now the 1-0 from Martinez. Splitter fouled back. Checks his swing. Two and one. Low scoring affair here today. To be expected opening day. A couple of aces on display for these teams. Nice piece of hitting there by Tony Rhodes to stay alive. Watches the splitter inside. Now works at full. Three and two. Outside. And Rhodes is on with a leadoff walk. That might be the first walk surrendered by Martinez today. Fellow right watches outside. One and oh. Here's a question. Do we lay one down now? Inside curve, fouled. 
Splitter popped up, and the bunt won't do a thing. So I'm not sure why I was trying to bunt. We do have the lead. I'm trying to get a little insurance. Stadolka watches. I just, I was kind of, <laughs> had in my mind that they actually scored last inning and we were tied. 1-0 to Stadolka. Two-seam fastball. Stadolka behind it. But will advance the runner up to second base as first baseman applies the tag. Billy Wade now, nine hitter. Watches a fastball, clips the corner for strike one. Check swing, didn't go around, and the count now even at ball and a strike. Oh, Wade just underneath the splitter, pops it up into left, and that'll do it for the Gophers in the seventh. They stay ahead 1-0, but uh, times are getting tight. The Gophers have to get these next six outs to get out of here with the win. And that fastball outside, just miss. 1-0, probably one of the best uh, hitters against lefties here on this Miami squad up right now. And I want to make sure that yeah these guys don't get too tired. Becker, they'll sit. We'll get Davies up as the closer in case we have to do something here in the eighth. And hopefully you can get the last handful of outs we're going to need. 2-0 and now from Lewis to Davis. Falls behind. Not a guy you want to fall behind. Misses again. 3-0. and All right. All the way back here, Lewis. Brandon Lewis low again, and a four-pitch walk to lead off the eighth. Not what the Gophers wanted to see, and it might have to be decision time here for Colfax in the dugout. Lewis will go against the lefty. They're going to lay one down again. He'll go slider. That one's fouled away. Chris Young on deck. Pulls back on that one, thankfully, as I tapped X, and the pitch motion began. One and one here. Let's see if they square away. I'm going to go high and tight with the fastball. He does square around. Pulls it away, and now two and one. It's Lewis struggling to throw strikes here all of a sudden. Two one. Slider again. That one bunted foul. Even the count at two apiece, and we'll see if he lays one down once again. He's not going to. Lewis tried to sneak in that fastball. He grounds it down to short. Wade decides to take the out at first and gets it. But tying run now at second base with the big bopper. Chris Young do up. He's going to drive it into right. Christensen, long run, gets there. Two away. Holds the runner at second base, who probably should have tagged, although being at second base, not bad with two outs. Whew. Lewis, I feel like I should be going to the bullpen, but... Showing some faith in the freshman. Hopefully he'll be repaid later on in the career. Pays off right there as the ground ball to Schust. He's able to dive for it, get up, and make the play at one to keep the Hurricanes where they are, keep the Gophers ahead, 1-0. And it'll be the top of the order coming to the plate in the eighth for Minnesota. All right, Jeff Frederick leading things off. He's two for three today. Doing exactly what we hope he will do out of that leadoff spot all year round. But don't want him to do that. Fish for the high fastball, 0-1. Curveball behind it, 0-2. All right, got to focus in here and do a little better hitting. Oh, just way out in front. Out of the strike zone, out in front. Easy strikeout for Martinez. Jake Anderson goes after an inside fastball, jams him up. And first baseman tracks back, makes the catch, and now two away. Fastball outside, 1-0. Oh. Christensen gets ahead. We've got decisions to make. Do we leave Lewis in for the ninth, give him the complete game? Right now, that's my inclination, although last couple innings have been a little tense. Checks on the inside splitter, two and one.
inside once again. Now ahead, 3-1 and one, Christensen. Gophers would love to get some insurance. Two down, though. Fastball outside in for a strike, and the count goes full. And once again, chasing after the low curveball. So Martinez, after his rough fourth inning, settles in. Goes scoreless the rest of the way. And now it's up to the Hurricanes offense to see if they can do it. Top of the order coming up. Camacho, one for three today with a strikeout. Lewis is going to stay in, especially with the lefty-lefty matchup. Slider gets through. And the leadoff. Batter is on for Miami here in the ninth, and the decision to leave Lewis in might come back to haunt the Gophers. It's nothing but righties up for the Hurricanes after that, and I think we are going to go to our bullpen, get Davies, and put him in. Signal to the bullpen, the righty closer coming in, Matt Davies. See if he can secure the first win of the series for us. Let's go for his lead 1-0. Good slider for Davies. He's going to throw it here. It's once again, Miami trying to manufacture that run. Bunt the runner over. High and tight fastball. Gets this one down. Anderson misses the tag. Throw down to first. Everybody's safe. Got to be kidding me. DJ Hyatt now due up. Davies first pitch curveball in for a strike. 0 and 1. The 0 1 to Davies. Looks to lay one down. Pulls it back and takes the ball. 1 1. One one bunted down. Stadolka, I couldn't get it away. I was pressing the button. Stadolka can't get it up. Fumbles with it, and everybody's safe. So yeah, Miami most likely going to take the lead here in the top of the ninth as it's all gone pear shaped. The base is loaded, nobody out. Let's hope we can get a sharp ground ball. At least get the force at home. Maybe a little home to first double play. But yeah, four hitter do up. Bases loaded, nobody out. Throws him a fastball. Christensen ranges over, makes the catch. The runner's going to tag. Game will be tied. And first and second with one out as the Hurricanes look to take the lead. Once again, bunting. This time Anderson fields it. He'll actually get the lead runner at second. Relay throw back to first, not in time, but two outs, two on for Lamont Kim and the Hurricanes here, top nine. Slider, that one grounded. Davies gets the comebacker over to first. Gets out of the inning, but Miami scores one, ties it up. The Gophers have a lot of work to do going into the bottom of the ninth. But they got the big man, John Schust. He's got the homer today coming up to lead things off here. Bottom nine, Martinez still in the game for Miami. Watches the curveball outside, 1-0. Let's be really selective here. Let's get some base runners on. Let's win this thing. Shoes back up the middle. Liner cut by the shortstop. One down. All right, Jeffrey Cabral now 0 for 3. Cabral, he'll line it into left. That gets down. And Gophers are in business here in the ninth. Hurricane still sticking with Martinez. Check swing. Did not go around. 2-0. 2 0 to Tony Rhodes. One out, one on. 3 0 to Tony Rhodes. Signal down from third base is take one here. This Martinez on the ropes a little bit. Gonna try and throw him off. Right down the pipe. 3 and 1. I say be very selective here. I would probably just take one here as well. The 3 1. Low, ball four. And first and second now with one out for the Gophers. Let's just see. Cabral, not the fastest. Can we. 
Make a substitution. Is anybody fast? Shiretti is a 70. Yep, Shiretti, you're coming in to run. Hopefully Compello can line one back up the box and we'll get out of here with the win. Curveball on the outside half in for a strike. 0-1. Oh Capello, high splitter, but just behind it. Uh, I thought about just leaving it. I thought it was too high. Falls into the strike zone. Could have been a good pitch to hit. Circle change outside misses, and now the count goes to one and two. One, two, one out. Tied at one here, bottom nine. Oh, just underneath. Underneath and early. As the play is made, two down. And now the bullpen going for Miami with Rick Rimes, the lefty, and Cairo, the righty, in. And Rimes, the lefty, going to come in to face Stadolka, who actually hits better against lefties. Quick, tried to quick pitch him with the curveball. Stadolka fouls it off. It's 0 and 1. Cutter, 0 and 2. That is going to be a tough pitch to hit. The 0 2 from Rimes. Curveball down in front of the left fielder, but I think we're going to have to hold the runner, and we do as a nice throw coming in. Bases will be loaded for Bobby Wade. The 8 9 hitters. Can they do the business? Wade gets ahead, 1-0. Bases loaded, two out. Rick Rimes trying to keep this game going for the Hurricanes. Cutter. Backdoor cutter comes back across and evens the count at one apiece. Slider, same deal. That falls in, 1-2. And the cutter starts off the plate, comes back around, swing and a miss, and this one will go into the 10th as Sapicki, Young, and Delaney do up for Miami. This is going to be a tough challenge against the lefty for Davies as Sapicki crushes the righty. Get Amara up in the pen. And Becker up in the pen again. See if Davies start things off well. That's right. Davies does not throw fastballs very well. That one misses low. 1-0. Davies definitely a curveball slider type pitcher. Throws the curveball there down to Bobby Wade. He flips it over to Anderson at first. One away. Is that was a little close for comfort. Chris Young now. The righty. Facing the righty Davies. That one outside. 1-0. Now the curve, that one stays up, driven into left, and Shiretti's there to make the play. Should maybe move Shiretti out of left field as he's a second baseman by trade. Davies hangs the fastball, hits right back to him, makes the play, and a quick 1-2-3 inning for the closer in the 10th. They'll probably have to make a change to a different pitcher going into the 11th, if we do go into the 11th. Outside slider stays Outside and low. Frederick gets ahead 1-0. -oh. The top of the order now up for the Gophers. Slider again. Frederick drives it back up the middle, and he's on with this third base knock of the ball game. It'll be tough to get Frederick in motion with the, uh, the lefty pitching. Anderson looked to lay one down, fouls back. Gets that one down and at least advance Frederick. Anderson's got good wheels. He'll get to first. Everybody's safe. First and second, nobody out. Matt Christensen up one for four. Two strikeouts on the day. He's going to try and get them over as well. Can't get the first pitch down. Second one. He does get down. That will advance the runners. Miami makes the play at first. One out. Runners on second and third. John Schust due up. See if they decide to pitch to him. They don't. Schust gets the free pass. That'll bring up 
Roy Shiretti, as that's right, Cabral was taken out uh, for as a pinch runner. It's pinch hit. Shiretti decent against lefties, but do we have anybody better? Parson Stockfish. Cabral, yes, he's already hit. Fulmer, Rivera. I think we just stick with Shiretti, unfortunately. He can get it done. Not a ton of power, decent contact. Cutter starts on the plate, cuts inside, and swung over the top of it. Cutter on the outside, swing and a miss, and now 0-2 to Shiretti. Kid's in a big spot here. Holds up on the curveball, one and two. As thought Rhymes was trying for the backdoor slider once again. One, two, this time goes with the four seamers, expecting that cutting action, doesn't get it. And down on strikes goes Shiretti. It's all to Tony Rhodes now, and he does it! Line drive into left. That'll score the go-ahead run. The winning run, I was going to say. I thought that was a walk-off. Everybody kept going. But Tony Rhodes, liner into left field, mobbed by his team at first base. And the Gophers start off the series and the season on the right foot, winning 2-1 to one in dramatic fashion against the top 10 ranked Miami Hurricanes. And Gophers... Winning a 2-1 to one as the home team as we started off in the neutral location. A great start for your Gophers. Davies with the win, Rhymes with the loss. We'll take a look at the box score. Eight hits for Miami, 11 hits for your Gophers. Not a ton of uh, extra base hits. A couple, though. Frederick, 3 for 5, 2 for 5 for Anderson, getting hits when it mattered. Christensen, 1 for 4. Schuess, 2 for 4. Cabral, 1 for 4. Rhodes getting the hit when it really, really mattered. And yeah, Schust with the homer. That's the only extra base hit. And the RBI as well as Rhodes with the uh, the game-winning RBI. Both starting pitchers, excellent lines. Martinez goes eight and two-thirds, only giving up the one run on the homer. And then Lewis going eight innings plus, giving up the one earned. Striking out two, only walking one. And then Davies gets the win with the two innings of scoreless relief. A good start for your Gophers here. They beat Miami in episode one. We will probably pick up, and I kind of want to play, I think, game number two of this two-game series with Miami. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. Yeah, I probably want to play game two of the Miami series. Maybe play a game of the Fordham series, if not both. Maybe both of the Utah. Just kind of get things started um playing a few games and then we'll really get into the sim simulations let's see yeah looking forward we have san francisco i believe that is in march he's actually ranked 38th in the country not bad southern miss 35th temple and then we get into big 10 play at the end of march with iowa purdue penn state michigan yep all the usual suspects a great start for your gophers they pick up the win um, in episode number one, two to one, we will see what they can do in the second game of the Miami series on the next episode. And as always, we will see you next time.